Hello everyone and welcome back to another Just Nicole video. So today's video is going to be a little fun get ready with me, mainly just my makeup and a chat if you will. So get ready and chat. It's a really fun chatty video. It's a weird, sorry, it's a weird setup today because I'm doing this on my desk. I don't do my makeup at my desk. It's, um, but it was like really good lighting and I feel like it was the easiest way to set this up. So I have my cute little pink unicorn mirror here that's always at my desk. It has like a lot of hand sanitizer and just like lotion and a little makeup bag just so it has the essentials so I can get my makeup done and some eyeshadow palettes. And we're gonna have a little fun today. So let's get started. I have some CC cream on. But I am moving things around. Um, but I'm going to finish up the makeup look. I think today I'm going to go pretty neutral browns because I'm not, I'm just filming today and getting work done from home. So I don't need like a bold look or anything like that. So I need to find the eyeshadow or the eyeshadow brush. There we go. I can speak today. Today, today's one of those days where I feel like my mind is going faster than my mouth. So I've just been stumbling over my words. But it's just one of those days. Okay. Let's get some water. Okay. So like I said, a nice brown. So... I go I got this Kylie Jenner palette like a while ago as a gift um I don't buy her stuff but it was a nice gift and the colors I don't use very often because it's not very bright colors and I like brighter colors but I'm gonna try to use this tiger eye brown it's my first time using that brown so we'll see how it looks there we go. So I'm just gonna put it over the whole lid. Give some dimension. And then I'll probably add just another brown to give a little bit more depth. But anyways, how are all of you? <laughs> so holiday season is upon us and while I'm filming this, we just celebrated Halloween. It is actually November 1st while I'm filming this. So Halloween was yesterday. So we are getting into Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that good stuff. I'm excited for Christmas. I love decorating for Christmas. It's like one of my favorite things. Okay, I don't know if you guys have seen the video, but my eye yesterday, I got home and it was like, had like some irritation. It almost looked like bloody on like one corner. It's not as bad as it was yesterday, but I'm like, what happened? Like I didn't get anything like glass in my eye or anything. It's just like, I think just like debris. It's not fun. Okay, so we have that brown. Now, what would be another brown that we could use? Or do we want to do like an orange? Do an orange. Maybe we'll do an orange. So I'm gonna go in with this orange. It's very Thanksgiving -y. into the crust. Again, nothing bold, nothing crazy. I feel like that's where I'm at right now in life, where I'm just like. Um, I don't say keeping, I don't say bored, but I feel like just like chill, like mellow, nothing chaotic. I feel like that's been sort of the vibe of 2023. <laughs> mm, but that's just me. Not like nothing good has happened. Good things have happened. I think I'm just like in this like very like mild zen mindset if you will like just 
be in the calm because there's storms brewing all around whether it is like personal storms or global storms if you will where it's just like you know what I gotta remain calm and collected so I could be a human being on this planet because it's a little crazy um hopefully by the time you guys watch this we're not in war let's hope you know I swear um okay so the eyeshadow is done it's very, like i said today's makeup is gonna be very very simple very simple and let's get a little cozy here so i was thinking right now hold on i have like three thoughts going on in my head that happens a lot like just a lot of thoughts but anyways um and i just said i'm zen and mellow i feel like my, i'm like whoosh, but i'm like constantly thinking so yeah I am currently, let's just like sidetrack from that and just talk about something else. I'm currently reading A Merry Little Meet Cute. It's totally a romance novel. That's like one of my things that I do to maintain calm is just to read cutesy romance books or YA books because I'm like the media I'm in taking, I need it to be fun and light so I can maintain in this world. So, um, yeah, it's a really cute book, but it is a very, <laughs> it is a very sexual book. Like, I don't know if you guys have read it. It's, it's a romance novel and I'll put like the picture here of the cover or whatever. And the author I love, well, one, it's two authors. And one of them I've read her, her other books. Sorry. Um where it is Julie Julie Murphy. And so she read she wrote Dumpling, which is a Netflix movie. So she, anyways, her books are so they're fun, they're cheeky. Um and so the character for this book and excuse me <clears throat> for a lot of her books, the main like character is always like plus size. And so, or not always, but the books I've read so far, the characters have been plus size. And so anyways, the main character for this book, she's plus size, and she is a um, porn star. And it is just like, I'm loving all the body positivity and the self-confidence and just like taking back like ownership and agency over your own body. I'm just like, damn, I really love this character. Like she does not give two fucks. Um, about like how the world perceives her and it perceives her job and it also shows like it's not so taboo like her she has two moms so um, both her moms are very you know accepting of her job and she loves the community she's built it's not like all about like ooh, let's just have sex on camera but like having good relationships with like her co-stars and her um, directors and everyone in that in that industry and just like feeling very very accepted for who she is but anyways it's not about her being the porn industry sort of is but the main character she gets this opportunity to star think of it as like lifetime if you will um or the hallmark channel um holiday movie you know one of those holiday movies those channels always have she gets the opportunity to star in it so it's her first non-porn star role and she's so excited of course i'm less and her co-star though her love interest is a ex-boy band member you know he didn't sign a good contract with his manager when he was in this boy band so he doesn't have a lot of money and he has like a lot of responsibilities to his mom and to his sister. And so he's using this movie as sort of like a comeback. So that way he can get more roles and just have money to <clears throat> live, basically. So anyways, he knows about her because he's a fan of one of her, of her like account. Like think of it like OnlyFans or something account. And... Anyways, it's like you could tell like they are both attracted to each other like just sexually and so I just got to the part of the book where they finally had sex and I'm like, but it's like 
the two authors do not hold back with the details and I love it. I'm like, yes, yes. It's like so good. I don't know, for me, it's just like, I like this. Okay. Um, let me, but it is a good read. I think it's a very, I don't know, it's not, it's not dirty because again, I think the characters have very real problems like the her love interest the ex-boyfriend member like his mom is bipolar I mean you know the U.S. health system health insurance doesn't super help out with that so him just having to realize like you know a lot of his money has to go to like different medications and um, doctor's appointments and just all of that because you know, because his sister's in high school and his dad passed away and his dad did most of the caring of the mom. And it's not like bipolar people can't take care of themselves. I just, you know, it's just, I guess, like this particular person, his mom, she has good days and she has bad days, depending on the medication. And because of that, she's not able to, like, work, right? So, in the middle of all the, like, fun, cheesy sex and romance these characters have very like real problems and real identities that can be really relatable to the reader so i appreciate it i'm almost done with that book so that's like my my feel good book and then the book i'm listening to right now is mad honey and that is a little bit more intense because it has to deal with like domestic violence new identities, running away, and a death. And so in that book, the story is told from the mother... So the story... Think of this. Okay, sorry. In that book, there is a young high school couple, boyfriend, girlfriend. The story is told by the boyfriend's mom's perspective and then the girlfriend. The book begins with, like, the girlfriend is found dead in her house after her and her boyfriend have not been talking for a few weeks because they got in an argument. I'm not going to tell you what they got in an argument about because you should read it. And so they got in an argument and they, and then she ends up dead in her house. So naturally they look at the boyfriend first. And I, I'm, I'm not there yet, but I've sort of read reviews about this book where he does get accused and, um, arrested for her murder but you could just tell from the beginning of the book that he did not do it and so I'm like fine. um and I have some suspicion of who did the murder um but I don't want to say but what I did when I did read ahead was that he was found like not guilty because he didn't he just didn't do it and Okay, I know who killed. I had my suspicion, and then I read ahead, and so I figured out who did kill her. Um, which is just also like not who I thought it was going to, but I was like, okay. So the story is told from the girlfriend who passed away. So it's told from her perspective, but of course before she died. So like a week before she died, a few months before she died, so on and so on. And then it is told from the mother's perspective of like from present day and moving forward and having to be supportive of her son and knowing her son is innocent. But I think also having conflicted feelings because she was in a domestic violence relationship with her son's father. And, you know, she's not in that relationship anymore, but she could see that her son does have like anger issues and tendencies. I personally, the way the book described it, I'm thinking, oh my God, this guy's an asshole. And then I re was reading it, I'm like, oh, this kid just needs like some therapy and anger management classes. Like he doesn't know when he gets mad, he retrieves and he feels into a dark place. So he just needs better coping mechanisms. But he doesn't like necessarily hurt people. He just mainly hurts himself. So that's a little bit more intense. <laughs> so, and it's a bigger, it's a larger book. I think that book's like 400, 500 pages and the other book's like 200 something. 
pages is so I like to balance my story. I'm like, I can't, I can't just dive into this intensity all the time. It's not good. All right. Oh, I didn't even tell you what I was planning on. So I had CC cream on before I did this video and then I put on some tinted moisturizer. There we go. There we go. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna get ready to make a video in a while. So this is, um, I need to get more soon. Look home and it's just tinted moisturizer. It just gives my skin like an extra layer color. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of like too much foundation. I do feel now that we're getting to winter months, I might want more foundation because it is what it is. Um, ooh, am I? We're in November now, but I do feel like my skin's gonna get a little bit lighter. However, I live in LA, so it's right now it's still sunny. I feel like it doesn't get cloudy until a few months from now. Okay. So like I think our winter starts like January. Alright, some bronzer. So that's what I'm reading. What I'm watching is just a bunch of random movies. Like there hasn't been like a new movie I'm watching. Or did I watch a new movie recently? I don't know. Oh, I finally got into Abbott Elementary. I finished that. Oh, see, look, it's just like right there. Right there. I'm gonna use this mirror. Um, oh, much better. Like a few, like a month ago, and I finished the first two seasons, like the only seasons, and I can see why people like it. It was, it's a really good show. I'm like, why didn't I? Know? But that's how I am. Like. I, so many people love a show, I wait and then I watch it. It's, I don't know why, I feel like, um, shows, books, like if the masses love it, I'm like, why does the masses love it? I don't know why I do that, but I do. So I'm always like a little late to shows, but I have to like, I'm always skeptical if everyone loves something. I'm like, I've, something can't be for everyone. So either this show or book is really stupid, so therefore everyone can understand it, or really basic, which is sort of the same thing. So I give it time. Then I'll watch it and then I'm like, oh, okay. Or sometimes I'll watch it and I'm like, yeah, I'm not the audience for this show or this book. And then a little bit of cream blush. It's in like this coral. I don't really have like a like a professional way to put on my makeup I just sort of just do it same look all right I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna come back because I gotta do my eyebrows off camera and I'll come back for something for my lips and then we'll end our little conversation here okay let me go do that see you soon all right, so we're back. The eyeshadow is on. Face is complete. It's a very simple look. Easily, you could do this in like 10 minutes. It's the holiday season. We're all a little busy, so you could do this. Okay, so for my lips, sorry, I have like hairs. Um, I'm going to put on just a little Burt's Bees lip balm or chopstick. It's like a tinted. There we go. Hold on. Tinted lip balm. There we go. And this is in the color Sweet Violet. So it gives my lips an instant little color while I'm moisturizing. I love Birch Bees. I'm a little sad that they had to like be acquired, but they anyway, the game. So again, tinted lip balm, simple look. You keep it this way. However, I know like if you are taking a lot of photos and you just want like a bolder lip, you can put a little bit of lip gloss. So this is like sort of in the color of the lip balm. Just a lip gloss from, oh my God, where is it from? Ofra. I got it like in a goodie bag somewhere. So this a little bit, oh my God. I think this is a pretty simple look and it's very Thanksgiving-ish. I don't know if this video is gonna be published like on Thanksgiving day 
or before Thanksgiving. Somewhere in November. So you can even just say that this is like a Thanksgiving look. I don't know because I feel like the colors are very like, like cranberries and like turkeys and pumpkins. I don't know. That's where I'm going with this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this little chattiness. I'm sorry if I was like all over the place. <laughs> but that's what I mean by a little chit chat video. Um, let me know if you guys like these little chit chats in the comments below. If you guys have a book I should be reading during this time, I'm catching up a lot, a lot on my reading. And yeah, so, so let me know. Bye.